this video i am going to explain the applications to difference equations using jet transforms so in today's video i am going to solve the difference equations using jet transforms that is y n plus 2 minus 4 times of y n plus 1 plus 3 times of y n is equal to 0 given conditions are y naught is equal to 2 and y 1 is equal to 4 and let's get started to solve this so in this solution so first of all i am going to consider jet transform of y n as capital y of z and next one z transform of y n plus 1 as z power 1 times of y of z minus y naught clear and next z transform of y of n plus 2 is equal to z square times of y of z minus y naught minus y1 by z so this is my consideration for solving this z transform of yn is equal to capital y of z and z transform of yn plus 1 can be written as z power 1 times of y of z minus y naught and z transform of y of n plus 2 is equal to z square times of y of z minus y naught minus y1 by z now what is our given equation so our given equation is nothing but y of n plus 2 minus 4 times of y of n plus 1 plus this is 3 times of y n is equal to 0. Now see we have to take z transforms on both sides taking z transforms on both sides of the equation taking z transforms on both sides so after taking z transforms on both sides see here what happens here z transform of y n plus 2 minus 4 times of y n plus 1 plus 3 times of y n plus 1 z transform is 0 is again 0 and see now our equation becomes so this will be z transform of y n plus 2 minus 4 times of z transform of y n plus 1 plus 3 times so of z transform of y n is equal to 0. Clear? And the next one here in place of y n plus 2 I am going to write this one. See. In place of z of y n plus 2 I am writing z square times of y of z minus y naught minus this is y1 by z minus 4 times of your z of y n plus 1 can be written as z power 1 into y of z minus y naught so here this is z power 1 times of y of z minus this is y naught and plus 3 times of in place of z of y n i am writing capital y of z so this is y of z is equal to 0 and we have clearly two conditions here that is y naught is equal to 2 see here y naught is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to 4 y naught is equal to 2 and y1 is equal to 4 i am going to substitute these values here in place of y naught as 2 and in place of y1 as 4 and therefore z square times of see here y of z minus 2 minus this is 4 by z minus 4 into z times of this is y of z minus what is y not here this is 2 plus 3 times of y of z is equal to 0 clear and see here we have y of z here here and here and taking y of z common so if i take y of z common see what happens if i take y of z common what remains here this is z square and this is minus 4z and this is plus 3 and the remaining one is minus 2z square see here minus 2z square so if i multiply with z square so this will be if i cancel 1z so this will be 4z and if I multiply, this will be 8z is equal to 0. Clear? And the next one, y of z is equal to, this is z square, minus 4z plus 3. This is minus 2z square, plus 8 and minus 4z. And this will be 
plus 4z is equal to 0. And see here, this will be y of z times of, this is z square minus 4z plus 3 is equal to, this is plus 2z square minus 4z. If I send these two terms to the other side, and now y of z is equal to, see y of z is equal to, this is 2z square minus 4z by, this is z square minus 4z plus 3. And next one, if I take z common from these two, then this will become y of z is equal to, see here, y of z is equal to, if I take 1z common, this will be 2z minus 4 by this is z square minus 4z plus 3. Clear? And now I am sending 1z to other side. So it is multiplying here and it will divide the other side. So this is 2z minus 4 by this is z square minus 4z plus 3. So if I split into factors, so this will be see here. This is z square minus 4z plus 3. And this can be written as z square. Three factors minus 3z minus z plus 3. And if I take common z, so this will be z minus 3. If I take minus common, so this will be z minus 3. If I take z minus 3 common from these two, so this will be z minus 1. So in place of z square minus 4z plus 3, I am writing z minus 1 into z minus 3. Therefore, y of z by z can be written as this is 2z minus 4 by so this value is so this can be written as z minus 1 into this is z minus 3 now i am splitting into partial fractions y of z by z can be written as this is a by z minus 1 and next to b by this is z minus 3 so now i have uh, the values of a and b as so this is 2z minus 4 by z minus 1 into z minus 3 is equal to a by z minus 1 plus b by this is z minus 3 now how to solve this one so using partial fractions so i am going to solve this as z minus 4 by this is z minus 1 into z minus 3 and this is if I take z minus 1 into z minus 3 as LCM, this will be a times of z minus 3 plus b times of this is z minus 1. So if I cancel these denominators, so this is 2z minus 4 is equal to a times of z minus 3 plus this is b times of z minus 1. I need the values of a and b for that if I keep z is equal to 1 so if I keep z is equal to 1 here then see this will be 1 so this is 2 minus 4 is equal to a times of 1 minus 3 this is minus 2 this is minus 2 times of a so if I cancel minus 2 on both sides the value of a is equal to 1 and next one in order to get the b value I have to make a 0 so put z is equal to 3 so if i keep z is equal to 3 in this equation so if i keep z is equal to 3 here this will be 6 minus 4 is equal to so this is 0 and b times of 3 minus 1 the value here is 2 so 2 is equal to this is 2 into b and if i cancel 2 on both sides our b value is equal to 1 so after getting a and b values i'll substitute here so in this, I'll substitute a value as 1. So here a value I got as 1 and b value again as 1. b value is again 1. Now if I substitute and carry on, our next value will be, see here, y of z by z is equal to, so this value this is y of z by z is equal to 1 by z minus 1 plus b times of this is z minus 3. I am sending this z to other side. So y of z is equal to, if I send this z to the numerator, this will be z by z minus 1 plus the value of b is equal to 1 here. This is uh, 
z by again z minus 3 and now I am going to apply z inverse on both sides. So if I apply z inverse on both sides, what happens here? So here this will be z inverse of z inverse of y of z value is equal to so this is z inverse of z by z minus 1 plus this is again z inverse of z by z minus 3. As you know that z inverse of see here z inverse of z by z minus a value is equal to a power n according to our special functions of z transforms. So using this I am writing therefore z inverse of z inverse of y of z is equal to so this is 1 power n plus this value is 3 power n finally our answer is 1 plus 3 power n the final answer here is 1 plus 3 power n so this is how we have to solve and this is also so easy if you see there are only few steps here so first of all we have to uh, consider these three steps and we have to take uh, z transforms on both sides and after substituting the values and after um, substituting the conditions y0 as 2 and y1 as 4 and after taking y of z common and y of z value is like this. So we have to take one z common from this and we have to send to other side and we have to split into uh, resolve into partial fractions and after getting a and b value and again substituting here and applying z inverse on both sides. So we got the final answer as 1 plus 3n. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like, please practice and pass it on to your friends.